Howdy, welcome back to Slide Bites. So, a little bit of a bassy intro there because we are playing a five stream bass. <laughs> so, uh, this is the Ibanez uh, GSR 205. Uh, Gio Ibanez GSR 205 five stream bass. So yeah, again, welcome back to Slide Bites. I managed to pick this up. So if you saw my previous video on the Squire Jazzmaster, I actually managed to pick these those two guitars up together for about $550 with shipping hand, uh, shipping and tax. Not bad deal. That's pretty close to what I call my budget, which is 500 bucks. So like that's what mostly what I'm going to be covering is excuse me anything 500 and below, usually less because. I'm like anyone else working full-time job to afford what I got. So, yeah. and no one's helping me acquire any gear. By the way, I, everything I have, I work a full-time job. My wife works a full-time job. We we just buy what I get, and that's, that is what it is. <laughs> so, we'll see how long I can do this. <laughs> so, uh, guitar prices are not uh, staying very stable right now. Anyway, so this is was it was sold to me. It, it's in pretty good condition. I'll just put it that way. It was listed as great condition. Um, there's definitely a big scratch on the back. And I'll try to show it on here. Yeah, you can see it right there. So yeah, a big scratch on the back. And uh, there's some weird pink residue on the headstock. I cleaned this thing up a lot and scrubbed it down. And re I oiled the fretboard, raised one of the saddles because it was so low I couldn't even pop, no slapping, no nothing. This thing was just nothing but buzz. I've never seen so much, so many string winds on a headstock on a vase before. I took all the strings off. They're not in too bad of shape themselves. A little old, but not too bad. But these, I don't have, I didn't have any five string five string bass strings at the time of recording this um probably it will have changed fairly soon hopefully uh, but i just unwound all of them fixed the winding trimmed them trimmed them which was, hadn't been done someone had just put the full length strings on there wrapped them around it was just like terrible and the tuning was horrible i got it fixed up i cleaned it up got all the dust i couldn't believe how much dust was on this thing but once i got that done other than that scratch and you know some dents and deans here and there this is actually a really nice guitar in really good shape. Um, yeah, it definitely, I would call it great condition. It's pretty, it's in pretty good shape. One little nick in the headstock, or not in the headstock, I'm sorry, on the neck right in, right there. It's a tiny little, little thing. I don't know what happened. Maybe someone dug a fingernail or something. Anyway, all in all, this is in really good condition. I, I would call it great. Uh, great guitar. I love this Roadster Orange metallic color. Beautiful absolutely beautiful. I love Ibanez. I've said this before on this channel. I always have good things to say about Gio Ibanez. They're just great instruments. Again, painted headstock like on the Squire. I, I, as I mentioned with the Squire uh, Jazzmaster, I was not really into active pickups. I got thinking about, I have, so I said I hadn't ever played them in the Squire video and I got thinking, if I remember correctly, the, my buddy who taught me to play guitar, um, he taught me to play bass, and I learned a little bit of guitar, and then he just went crazy on my own after after a little bit. Um, he, I think he had a custom Carvin with active pickups, and maybe one, did any of the Satch models have active pickups? Because he had a Satch model, and I feel like it had active pickups. But I didn't play those very often. I usually when I went to his house, I was grabbing a Strat or uh, a Tele or something like that, because I've always just been a Fender guy in general. But I do like Ibanez a lot. Uh, Ibanez and Jackson and PRS and several other brands. I still love them. I love all the guitars, really. I just There's some things I love more than others. But when it comes to bass, I've been looking at Ibanez basses for a while. So I have the Jackson bass. I really like it. But I've, I've been wanting to try a more active electronic. So I went with full-on active this time, um, which is where I was going beforehand. I, went, I just wanted to go full active on all these. So this, these are technically passive. Pickups, um, let me look here and see what they call these because I can't remember what the actual designation of these pickups are. Dynamics H neck pickup and Dynamics H bridge pickup. I'm assuming they're humbucking, they're like soap bar style humbucking pickups. Um, and the they're powered by an active EQ. So these are passive pickups with an active EQ. So so you definitely, uh, let me show you where I was turning there. This knob right here, oh, reorient. <sighs> this knob right here is your FAT2 EQ boost. So you can turn it on in different levels. It just, I don't know, it's weird. 
I guess it's considered active. It's a little different for me. Sounds really good though. So that's with both uh, pickups on. Let's just do the neck with full tone. We're in standard five string bass tuning B, E, A, D, G. Uh, so let's roll the tone off. And roll the boost off. Roll the tone back up with the boost off. So let's go ahead and turn that one off, turn the tone and the boost back all the way up and turn the bridge on. Turn that boost off. All right, and turn the tone off. So definitely a lot happening with that FAT2 EQ. Uh, I think it makes a huge difference. Yeah, I don't know if you can see that. I'm gonna show that real quick. That pink residue, I'm pretty sure someone had this on a hanger, and there's someone, this, it was either stand or a hanger with, that had rubberized pink things. You gotta be careful, or red, probably rubber, red rubber or something. You gotta be careful with that with headstocks, uh, or headstocks, with, with guitar finishes uh, on the neck too. You may not think it, but just your body might be safe with some things, but even your neck, can be torn up by certain chemicals and stands. So you actually kind of got to watch that. And I, with hainers especially, it really looks like a hainer with one that's red rubber and it, it's it coloration sink into the wood over time in a couple spots. Something to be aware of. Uh, watch the neck too, it may, unless you don't care. It doesn't affect anything, it's just weird. Weird looking to me anyway, but it gives it character. Anyway, I think the pickups sound great. Uh, this is, <clears throat> Let me see, this is the B15 bridge. It definitely has plenty of mass. I think the sustain is pretty good. <laughs> While I do that, I hear this Breaking Benjamin album hanging up on the wall, shaking, rattling, my floors are shaking. <laughs> it sounds really good. I like this thing a lot. I did, uh, so yeah, I raised the saddle to, so I could do some. But yeah, so this neck is really fast. It's 22 fret neck, a little weird to me. I'm not used to that. Usually I see 24 frets on bass, but it doesn't matter too much. It's a 34 inch scale length. Um, so that's pretty good. Uh, you, I would call this probably a D shaped neck. It's very fast. As soon as I was doing the unboxing, you felt the neck is like, oh yeah, that's Ibanez. And you know, Jio makes pretty good instruments. I, I, I recommend them to people all the time because if you want a great instrument that you excuse me, that will be reliable and a good price. It, Jio is one of the best to go with. I, I love them, especially if you're a shredder and you like that style of guitar, they are awesome. Um, Jatoba fretboard, maple neck. Again, let you see what all that looks like. There's where your battery is. The biggest the fly, right here, battery's right here. Uh, the biggest flaw I think there is on this one is that it takes screws to get to. That's a little bit inconvenient. And so if your batteries do if they are totally necessary and they die and this thing's gone, you're gonna have to have a screwdriver to get in there and get to those. That's kind of a, the, the, the Jazz Master was just a quick open on the, the back, um, which is nice, but this one, this one's not like that. So yeah, uh, so that's something to be aware of, but it definitely plays great. The action's nice now. I've got everything set up where I want it. Again, it just, it's a very slick playing guitar. Um, I don't know why you'd ever play without that boost. Uh, yeah, I'll turn on the ultra metal for a second. This thing sounds great. You know, I I can't recommend it enough. Honestly, if you can get, this was $189, used to great condition. Yeah, it took some TLC to get it back where I really wanted it. 
I gotta say, you know, you got your two volumes, one tone in the boost. It's super simple to use. The battery compartment's the biggest flaw on it, unless you really need 24 frets. I don't, I don't know that I've ever used 24 frets in all the years I've played bass, decade and a half now, a little over. Uh, so, you know, it is what it is, but this is a great looking, great feeling. I love the way they do the input jack. It's recessed into the body there. It just looks nice and flush and it's clean. Uh, this is just a nice guitar, bolt on neck. Um, it's, it's very low budget, very inexpensive, but very nice. Tuners are good. Uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's a great guitar. I, I can't highly, I can't recommend Jio Ibanez more. They are just excellent. So guys, thanks so much for watching. Um, I think I'm gonna wrap it up there because it's just not much else to say. It, it's a bass, it does what a bass does. They thump and it thumps and it's shaking my office here. So anyway, thanks so much for watching. Like and subscribe if you feel like I've earned it. I appreciate everyone who keeps coming back and watching the videos. And if you're new, welcome to the channel. This is a budget channel and I supply my own gear. Uh, but that way I feel like you get the most honest outlook on things. So yeah. Uh, thanks so much for watching and you know check out my Instagram and my Twitter pages at Slidebytes because I'm posting original music content, things I make and, and play right over there. Um, all instrumental, I don't sing. Uh, Lord have mercy, I don't sing. Um, <laughs> but uh, you see pictures of the dogs and everything else on there too, and the fluffs, all the all the animals, cats and dogs. Uh, yeah, so. And you get some sneak peeks, usually, of what's coming up before I post it onto YouTube. YouTube, I usually just stick mainly to reviews. You might see an occasional guitar playing video coming over here, but usually it's going to be on uh, Instagram and Twitter now. So if you just want to hear what something sounds like real quick with a particular piece of gear, I usually have it labeled in there what I'm using on those videos, and you can see and just see what it sounds like and get an idea for something. Um, so those playing videos have a dual purpose of both me being artistic and helping people hear what something sounds like just real quick. So anyway, again, thanks for watching and I will see you guys soon with more content. Um, got more stuff in the works, more things I'm planning and plotting up here for the channel. And I wish you all the best. Keep shredding. Talk to you later. Bye.